Well, hi everyone. I'm Kara, the freeze-dried foodie, and in today's video, I would like to show you five of my favorite Thrive Life vegetables and let you see what it looks like inside the cans. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about how I use the produce and what it tastes like and maybe some recipe ideas. Okay, so let me jump in. Um, I was kind of hesitant when I first started buying Thrive Life because I wasn't sure what freeze-dried veggies would be like. Um, I didn't know what the texture was gonna be like. I wasn't sure how they would cook up. And then I have been pleasantly surprised to find out that they're amazing. Um, first of all, freeze-dried food in general, it's light and airy, it's kind of crispy a little bit, and um, straight out of the can is how I enjoy a lot of these vegetables, which is really great because they are raw, the veggies are raw, and so you have the power of raw vegetables in here, the nutrient density in these cans. So first of all, very, very nutritious. Um, secondly, uh, the taste from what I can tell, what I have been able to taste, which is like almost everything they have, <laughs> um, fantastic taste, okay? And how they cook up, well, let's talk about that. So first of all, I'm gonna show you, this is one of my favorites, okay? So the red bell peppers. This is something that I was super guilty of letting go bad in my refrigerator before I started using Thrive Life. If you will look, can y'all read that? Ingredients, red bell peppers. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? I mean, it's single ingredient cans. These are all non-GMO, which is important. All right, I'm gonna let you know what it looks like straight out of the can, okay? So I just took it out of the can. It's just a slice of a red bell pepper. I mean, fragrant, you can tell this, <laughs> this is a red bell pepper. And it's got a little bit of a snap to it. Now, I'm at the end of my can, and did you hear that? It's a little bit crispy, right? I enjoy those in ranch dip. I enjoy those in hummus. I enjoy those as a topping on a salad. Those are just the ways that I use them raw straight out of the can. I cook with these quite a bit too. So I will take these and saute them up with some onion. Uh, they saute very quickly because remember it's freeze dried so the moisture is gone. <laughs> There's no moisture left in there. So these, would, these will saute up really fast. But some of the things I enjoy um, putting these in is, first of all, my breakfast casseroles, any kind of an omelet or uh, any kind of scramble. So breakfast items, fan these are fantastic for your breakfast. Um, also, I would say any kind of um, like a soup or a stew that has kind of a Southwestern theme to it, like a taco soup, a chicken tortilla soup, I definitely would put these in there. And you can use these ingredients along with fresh, okay? So it's mix and match. You don't have to have all Thrive ingredients. You And um, it's, it's, a, it's a great to supplement what you're just cooking, everyday cooking, and add some Thrive Life to it because your nutrition level will, will be amplified. Okay, let me show you the next one, okay? So we have the chopped spinach, and just like the red bell peppers, the only ingredient here is spinach. Isn't that wonderful to know? Okay, I'm gonna open the can. and get. Well, there's an oxygen absorber in here. I'll move it out of the way. But you'll see what that looks like in there. Can you see? It's just chopped spinach. I mean, it's the whole leaf, so I'll reach in here and get, here's, here it is. But it's, it's, like when you buy fresh spinach, it's bulky and it, 
and then it wilts down to almost nothing to almost nothing right well this has already wilted down I guess because of the freeze drying process so you, this is quite concentrated so I would put let's see yesterday I made um, a casserole and I put a quarter of a cup of this in the entire casserole and it fed like you know three people okay so spinach another favorite of mine all right here we go the mushrooms and same thing only ingredient is mushrooms okay I'm almost at the end at the bottom of this can too but you see this is what they look like can you tell about the size it's just a slice of a mushroom so I love these I love mushrooms I love love mushrooms <laughs> some people don't I know but we love them I put those in a chicken tetrazzini that I made the other day and I normally probably wouldn't put mushrooms in a chicken tetrazzini because I wouldn't have them but I had them I have my can open it's sitting on my pantry shelf I opened up that can put it in the chicken tetrazzini and man it was so so good other things I have uh, used that for is uh, beef stew. Does anybody out there like beef stew? I love beef stew. I think it's better with mushrooms in it. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to tell you how I do my spinach. Well, I did say I used it in a casserole, but I also put it in um, breakfast casseroles as well with the red pepper. So, so good. It would do um, any kind of a like a pasta primavera you could add that in there I think it would be um, delicious to add that to some sort of a like a chicken Florentine or something like that that would be delicious um, okay next I'm moving on to the celery okay same thing just the one ingredient celery and let me move my oxygen absorber you can see the inside of the can so it's already washed. These are already chopped. Um, I use onions and celery in like everything I make. <laughs> so the onions is the next, by the way. But uh, the celery and the onions are fantastic as a base for any kind of soup or stew, any kind of casserole. Um, I use that in, in basically everything I make that is some sort of soup. Okay, and last but not least, is the onions these are the sliced onions onion slices um, let me show you what they look like yeah okay these are fantastic I don't cry anymore because I don't have to chop onions anymore it is hallelujah awesome if the slice is too big for what you're wanting like if you're needing more of a chop chopped onion in your recipe you can just I mean these are freeze-dried so they're they're crispy and so you just pour some out in your hand if you want to and just crush them and put them into your soup or stew or your chili yes I've made all of that with with the onions I've also done uh, marinara sauce homemade marinara um, so I think and I have I love the carrots too I didn't bring the carrots out here with me to show you but the tiny little pieces of carrots and I and I put those in almost everything that I make that's a soup because I just think why not I have them um, they're fantastic uh, the carrots are great in the beef stew they're great in a, a chicken noodle soup um, they're great and I made a, a chicken and rice casserole and I put all sorts of vegetables in there because I have them and I think you might as well amp up your uh, nutrient level if you can so that's what I did I did the I did a chick a chicken and broccoli and cheese and rice casserole and I loaded it with vegetables and it was delicious oh it was so so good anyway okay so there's you some ideas of what the ingredients look like inside the can and some ideas of how you can use them in your everyday cooking and remember um, you can mix and match these so if you have the celery that's Thrive Life but let's say you're using fresh onions that's fine just cook up your fresh onions and then at the last minute put in a little put in the celery and then it will saute up um, alongside your onions so anyway I hope that is helpful to you and thank you for joining me today okay you'll have a great day